You got a 44 Magnum? It's an expensive weapon. It's all right, I got money. It's a real monster. Stop at a car at 100 yards, put around right through the engine block. The scene you're about to watch is from the 1976 film Taxi Driver. Now, the scene covers a sales transaction between the main character, Travis Bickle, and a peddler named Easy Andy. I've always thought of this scene as an expert lesson in sales. I've found that um, Andy's mannerisms, the product demonstration, the way he handled himself is an approach every salesman should have. He's not your typical sleazy salesman. He doesn't seem desperate to make the sale. He's not aggressive or pushy in any way, and he just rolls with it. So here it is, a breakdown of the uh, gun sales scene from Taxi Driver. Hope you enjoy it. There you go. It's a premium high resale weapon. Look at that. Look at that, that's a beauty. I could sell this gun to some jungle bunny in Harlem for 500 bucks. But I just deal high quality goods to the right people. How about that? This might be a little too big for practical purposes. In which case for you, I'd recommend 38 snub nose. Look at that, that's a beautiful little thing. It's nickel plated, snub nose, otherwise the same as a service revolver. That'll stop anything that moves. The Magnum, I use that in Africa for killing elephants. That 38, that's a fine gun. Some of these guns are like toys. That 38, you go out and have nails with it all day, come back and it'll cut dead center on target every time. It's got a really nice action to it, and a heck of a wallop. You interested in an automatic? It's a Colt 25 automatic. It's a nice little gun. It's a beautiful little gun. Holds six shots in the clip, one shot in the chamber. It's if you're dumb enough to put a round in the chamber. Here, look at this. 380 Warther. Holds eight shots in the clip. That's a nice gun. And that's a beautiful little gun, look at that. During World War II, they used this gun to replace the P-38. Just giving out to officers. Isn't that a little honey? How much for everything? Uh, all together. Well, only a jackass would carry that cannon in the streets like that. Here. There's a beautiful handmade holster I had made in Mexico. Forty dollars. Three fifty for the Magnum. Two fifty for the thirty-eight. One and a quarter for the twenty-five. One fifty for the three-eighty. You take this. Oh, wait here. I'll walk down with you. How about dope? Grass, ash, coke, mescaline, downers, nebutol, tunol, chloral hydrates. How about uh, uppers, amphetamines? No, I'm not interested in that stuff. Crystal meth. I can get you crystal meth. Nitrous oxide. How about that? Now let's go over Andy's sales technique point by point. Firstly, he didn't really overdo it with the small talk. He kept the small talk short and simple. There were no fake compliments. He didn't come across as tacky. He wasn't desperate for the sale. He wasn't really pushy, and most important of all, he had a great confidence in the ability of his products to service his clients' needs. And when he demonstrated those products, he came across as someone who knew what he was talking about, knew his products, and wasn't just out to get a sale. And that's something every salesman should aspire to do. How about a Cadillac? I get your brand new Cadillac with the pink slip for two grand. 